And my Gucci Sparkly Scarab Rim Shifty Licious Scipio. Welcome to your Love Tarot reading. Today we are going to take a look at you and your person, my bit, bit, whatever that means to you. Situationship, relationship, bumble date, marriage. Let's take a look at Scipio, Sun and Rising, and Venus, my babies, Abracadabra, bit, bit. Let me know in the comments below, Scipio, why are you so sparkly? I know why, because you're a Scipio, just like your mommy, bit, bit. All right. Um, so yeah, this is your August 2023 energy. We are assuming some kind of a rift or separation between you and your person. Please show me angels of love. God is Aphrodite. What is happening here? Oh, skip you. We're always dealing with some, something. <clears throat> the tower at the bottom of the deck. Your own energy. This is definitely a separation. Something ended with a big boom boom. Okay, there's a big boom boom. Uh, the fool here, someone's foolishness, foolish behavior. For some of you, you know, if it was an established connection for you, it, someone's foolish behavior really brought down an entire household or an entire situation, an entire family. Someone causes a lot of problems because of their irresponsibility, selfishness, and foolishness. The tower. The tower came down on the Scorpio. But also, don't worry, because you know how it goes, Scorpio. We experience the biggest transformations. We experience the, the biggest hardships, but we always come out of it smelling of roses. And I think enough time has passed now between the two of you that this person is realizing that Scorpio is coming up smelling of roses. And the more they, um, the more they don't... The more they're not around you, the more they see you. You know, they see you in the stars. They see you... In the moon, in the sun, you're everywhere they go, but though. They know they caused you a big bit boo. Some kind of irresponsible, foolish, or selfish behavior caused a lot of trouble here in the Nine of Swords. Hmm, baby. All right, Scorpio. Let's see what happened in the past to make the situation so. Also, my bit boo, welcome to Blue Angel Love Tarot. I love you, I see, and I appreciate you, my bit boo. Give mommy a kiss. Hmm, Scorpio. Scorpio, Scorpio, Scorpio. This is Scorpio Land, all right? This is this is Scorpio Barbie, right? So take take off that stinger bra, you know, relax. You can just be yourself here. I'm a double Scorpio. I got loads of Scorpio placements in my chart. This is Scorpionic um, paradise. Do you know what I'm saying? We're not like other people. Let's not pretend that we aren't, okay? Not being snobbish, but it's true. All right. Boo -boo. Let's see, please show me angels of love what happened in the past to make this situation so. It's gonna be okay, skip you. It's almost like fate intervened. Why? The moon. Because of a secret this person had. Somebody wasn't being honest with you. You got the wheel of fortune. Something changed very rapidly. This person was exposed for something. Are you exposed, them, Boo -boo? Let's see why. Tell me why. The tower, something came crashing down. You could be dealing with someone who, mm, the tower again, but what did they do? Why is it about the world? Something was exposed. The moon again because of a lie. What was the lie about? The Ace of Pentacles. Boo boo. If this was a douche, like douche food, douche food toss anyone between you met on Tinder on a Tuesday, you know, bimbo, himbo, someone new in your life. Some, you know, some, what was between you was the higher font. You have a soul connection. Two people who already know each other. Two people who already vibe with each other. Could have been married in a past life. There's something very familiar and very scrumptious about this person. I think they were very adamant. They were looking for a relationship with a capital R. Everything was fine. It was like, this is everything you would ever wish for in the world, but no. Or it was at least, you know, completing you at that time. Then you have the Wheel of Fortune here. It's someone who's very moody and changeable or quite possibly changed up on you um, in an instant. There's something here about this person experiencing a lot of karma because of things that they are hiding. Foolish and reckless behavior. Behavior they knew would eventually be exposed. It could be someone who was afraid you would expose them to. Um, or like literally expose them to the world. Maybe you're someone who has like clout or someone who works in a profession that could have exposed this person. Something here about dealings with money, the Ace of Pentacles. They handle money in bad ways, some, some kind of bad money here. Or just bad, bad habits, you know? This person was exposed be because of that. And it was a big secret, the tower. Something big came crashing down with them. Or is about to come crashing down. They were afraid that you would expose them because you figured them out. There's something about them that was not it just wasn't kosher, but it wasn't gluten-free, you know what I'm saying? It wasn't halal. Why, though? 
The Eight of Pentacles, again, something to do with their job or, or how they work, something to do with their money, the promises they make uh, to people. This is someone who made you a lot of promises and couldn't keep to them, and you started digging, and you realize that it's possible even, Scorpio, we always get these psychopaths. All right, no offense to psychopaths, but like also, I mean, like we got them. Um, there's something here about somebody could have lied about everything, like everything to do with themselves. Reckless behavior. Could be a chronic liar, could be someone who is posing as another person, but they're doing it on impulse. Impulsive psych, almost, I'm telling you, Scorpio, I know you don't want to hear this, baby, but it's like sociopathic, psychopathic behavior, very selfish very like reckless could have been someone even like the crimes are coming back and we used to have like a lot of crime readings could be someone who like embezzled money or did a crime like literally or someone who just had like a lot of instability to them they were lying about themselves if this was a marriage or a more established connection but Bill, this is also what i see someone was keeping secrets and they were like pilfering money from a joint account they were embezzling money, they lost their job, forgot to tell you. There's a lot of dishonesty here about money and stability, you know? They promised you something they didn't deliver. Could have been also someone who promised you, oh, you know, Bill, you know, we made this deal, we're gonna live in one place for a little a while where they wanted to live, and they were like, then we're gonna go to a new place, start a whole new life together, and they never delivered on that. You got the <laughs> Pitbull, Scorpio. I mean, it's a Scorpio reading, all right? <laughs> Get with the also cross watcher. Shame on you. And also cross watcher. These energies can't switch. So you know, Pitbull, don't come for me. Um, the Empress here, in terms of this person's intentions, mm, I mean, you know, this is a fall from grace. This person knows they did you a lot of Pitbulls, but this person is is trying to return Scorpio because you are their. Uh, Bipil, you know, Empress, Emperor, anyone, anyone in between, you are the one for them in their mind. You are the one. You're meant for each other. Your little psychopath is still in love with you. <laughs> I'm sorry. I mean to make a joke of it, but this is like Scorpio 101, right? Then you got the star here also, you know, in that um, first card on the table. So, you know, it could be, could be an Aquarius or something here. Mm, something here about like, Someone who's always going to fight for what they want. Like, it could be a psychopathic energy, low empathy, high, highly impulsive. But actually, you know, it's someone who, when they put their mind to something, won't let go of something. So in a weird way, this person sees you as like, well, you're, you know, you're, you're meant to be together. So, you know, I may be a psychopath, but I'm your psychopath, Scorpio. <laughs> the Knight of Wands. This person is actually coming into your life sooner than you think, very fast. It's fast moving energy still this summer. In the next one hour, one day, one week, one month, you will hear from this person. Also, always remember timing tarot is psychic timing, so always take everything I say with a grain of salt, but that's what's coming in. Let's get some advice for Scorpio. The Empress again. What do you want, Pip Bell? You know, what do you want out of life? What kind of an empire are you building? Could have been you had an empire with this person, or you saw, you know, a future building an empire together, and this person, because of their instability, selfish, uh, reckless behavior, sabotaged it. So, you know, how much stability is this person giving you? They do see you as the empress, but, you know, are they the emperor, or vice versa, anyone in between? You know what I'm saying? Like, <laughs> who's running the empire, baby? Who is running the empire? Scorpio, let me know in the comments below if this is your story. Tell me more about your story in this dupe shoot. I'm really curious. There's a lot of interesting, let's just say interesting characters <laughs> coming out of the reads today. As always, my baby, thank you for watching. Um, if you are interested in a personal reading, all the information is down below. And uh, if you vibe with my channel, don't forget to like, subscribe, and turn on the notification button because that really helps your mommy out. And, um, Especially this video, if you want to leave me a like and a comment below, that's also going to help me out big time because it's going to take, tell my AI overlords at YouTube that mommy's been a good girl and that really makes a big difference to the channel. So a little like and a little comment goes a long way, Scorpio. I love you, my boo, -boo. Stay sparkly, stay gorgeous, stay moisturized, and may the angels protect you. Mm -hmm.